All right, lesson six. Uh, le uh, sorry, lesson six. Determining blocking, bracing, tie down requirements. Six one. Lesson six. Overview. Lesson description. Blocking, bracing, tie down materials. Protect the unit equipment of the railway equipment of the tra with the transport when the military equipment is improperly blocked or braced versus also the accident. The military ship is liable for damage. This lesson describes the physical force of working against loads and procedure for blocking and bracing of a two and a half inch two and a, a bracing with a two and a half inch two and a half ton truck. The en en enabling learning objective of the enable learning objective of this lesson determine the requirements of brace, br blocking, bracing, t tie down materials, including the physical force exerted with the loads during transit. Compute your view and seek requirements for the b b blocking, bracing, tie down materials given the study environment with the materials provided in the subcourse with the text for the condition and the standard and course with the subcourse materials of the reference and cited below. References their references are either developed in lesson the AR5533, the periods of the handling, thorough build landing, household gold shipments, the period of longshore and uh, maritime strikes. Dated with November 1964, Army Re Re Regulation 22, um, 22010, proper preparation overseas movement of uh, units of the June. 1973, Department of Defense Regulation 4500.32R, Mill Stamp Volume 1, within Chapter 6, May 1995, Field Manual 5515, Transportation Reference Data, January 1986, Field Manual 5565, Tragic Deployment of the Surface Transportation, October 1995, Field Manual 55601, Railway Car Loading Procedure, August 1971, Technic Manual 5520001112, Transportation Guidance Application, Application of Blocking, Bracing, Tiny on Materials of the Railway Transportation. The lesson content, 6-2, identifying physical forces, 6-3, identifying blocking, bracing requirements, 6-4, um, lesson summary, 6-5, uh, lesson practice exercise, 6-5, 6-6, lesson practice exercise, answer key and the feedback. Um, Identifying in six two identifying the identifying physical forces in introduction and mobilized loading uh, you may use the block cleats and wire cable for the chain to counteract with the stress and strain caused by the motion of the black car. There are three physical forces exerted with loading during transit: longitudinal force, transversal force, and vertical force. Longitudinal force definition: a longitudinal force occurs when the railway car stops in sudden stop, and even though the railway car stops, the load continues moving in the same direction at the same speed. The error design blocking pattern sixteen the figure six one counteract the force. There are procedures for the pattern 16. Um, as you can see, this is pattern 16 of a uh, truck. Longitudinal continued force. Step one: blo um, place blocks at 45 degree angles against the front and the rear of the equipment. The front wheels in front of the inner and outer intermediate wheels between the inner and outer rear wheels. Two: nail the heel of the block of the car floor using the 40 penny um, five inch nails, toe nails, portion of the block under the tire to car floor with two 20 40 D nails. Apply protective material and remaining blocking. Note that four wheel vehicles have blocks in front of the rear, front and rear of each wheel. Um, transverse, transverse, central figure forces occur when the train is going around the curve of the force push at the load co closest to the curve toward the outside of the railway car. If the load is not restrained, the central figure force must pu may push off the side of the railway car using a side bracing figure six two. The counteracting the force side bracing consists of two feet by four feet by three foot boards nailed on one top of the of the other. There are procedures for the side bracing loading. Um, um, step one: place the load, place the side brace along the outer face of the equipment wheels. Play to nail the bottom cleat to the car floor, and then nail the two cle more cleats on the top. Screw the cleats using the 20D nails into the deck of the right angles of ward of the maximum holding power. Four: place waterproof in the figure six of the burlap between the wheels and cleat, with to prevent the tires from shaping. Also, place the waterproof on the paper underneath the bottom of the cleat. Extend the waterproof to paper two inches above the top of the cleat. Transverse um, forces continued, side bracing, and then we have your pl placement of waterproof paper. The railway car. Identifying phys physical forces continued, vertical forces caused by bouncing, the greater the roughness of the roadbed, the greater the vertical force exerted. You're counteracting vertical force by the type of the drawn down on the equipment is figure and shown in 6 4 of the wire, wire, wire tied down and counteracting vertical force while trying the load with the counteracting vertical force using the four piece with the proper width of the wire rope or the equipment down to the side of the stake pockets. This shows the wires on the side of the stake pockets, um, um, controlling the vertical forces, uh, 6-3, identifying blocking bra bracing requirements, but because of the military equipment is often he heavy and oversized, sometimes the movable turrets and arms of the booms and proper the blocking the bracing methods, imperative in ensuring the equipment ar arrives at the point of embarkment in the good working order. They must ensure that the wheels and treads are blocked, chases are tied down, movable parts are secured, but the vehicles do not work in any loose of the during move movement. To the um, determinant of the block and bracing and tie down requirements, following the guidelines for the determinant of the block and bracing tie down requirements will save you for the loading time and aggregation.
aggravation money otherwise charged for the delayed vehicles. Also black and braced at the same time. Each time they are shipped, all vehicles at the same time must be blocked and braced by the same method. Using the technical manual 5522001112, when computing the building block materials, specific equipment must be consulted with the technical manual 5522001112. These are procedures used in technical manual 5522002012. Compute the building block, building blocking bracing materials for the 33 quarter ton utility truck. Action 1. Use figure 65 for the parcel DA form 2940R of the first fire type of the cargo list to unit DA form 2940R. This shows the package quantity, description, dimensions, weight, and the cube in the square feet, um, unit load, inventory, and check leak worksheet with the organization station for the tow and gate number. Step 2. Locate on the page of the TM 55 dealing with the three-quarter inch chunk figure 66 of the technical manual 55 that illustrates the page the figure 66. Find the item column between the illustration and the column contains the same letters which appear with the illustration letters to identify the specific areas of the truck requiring blocking and bracing for the example letter B with the item in the column identifies the blocking material for the clearing the wheels. Locate the number of the pieces um, column. The column identifies how many pieces of the block below blocking block and bracing material required securing particular area of the truck no now locate the description in the last column the column describes the identifying the blocking material um, blocking and bracing material for the securing in specific areas for example the block 16 and copy the down now the block bracing material and quantities you acquired for this truck Blocking bracing material for the dual wheel vehicles. Note that the figure 66 of the blocking blue block bracing um, block bracing materials requirements for the four and six wheel trucks are either single or dual wheels. You can see other vehicles with dual wheels in the rear sing sing single sign since each wheel is both blocked with the dual wheel truck that we require with the two. Twice the blocking wheels, um, blocking the material single wheel truck. The three quarter inch trunk, three quarter trunk and truck has at least four wheels and a total of four, um, total of four wheels. Computing the block bracing material requirements. Next, compute the block bracing, block bla bra block and bracing material requirements. Using the figure 66 six items B and states for the four wheel vehicles of blocks in front of the wheel of each wheel. Based on this guidance, the blocking material requirements are two blocks for each of the wheel. Multiply the number of the wheels by two. But then we will need to have eight blocks by for four wheels. Of the utility truck, five forty D nails. Multiply the number of the um, nails you require by the number of the box. You will need 40, um, 40, 40 nail nails for each four wheel utility truck. Computing the block bracing materials requirements continued. This figure shows the TM fifty five twenty two hundred zero zero one twelve in uh, extract page. I did read about twenty pages, two hundred pages of that. I kind of quit because like I kind of picture the big. Kinda, it was like they'd given the direction for the tie down with a layout, and it wasn't like you couldn't see them while you were reading. Alright, computing the blocking bracing um, material requirement conditions. No, 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 now evaluate the requirements of item C. Item C list of the protective material placed alongside each wheel. Since the list of one of each of the wheels must multiply the number of the required with the number of the wheels. In this example, you need four pieces of the protective paper, protective material for the for three quarter inch, ton, three quarter ton utility truck. I list item D for the four to six of the pattern, pattern 89 block with the items D with the outside with each of the wheel, three quarter inch ton. Requires four blocks. The pattern 89 shows the figure six, seven, and the pattern 89. The figure six, C7 shows a pattern 89 with the cable clamp with the thimble and the wire rope. Alright, using the pattern diagrams. Notice the item D does not give it the requirement of the nails. Instead, it tells you to see the pattern 89 for the secure of the details. To find out the um, secure blocking, the bracing located with the pattern section of the TM 55 Description pattern 89 gives the description of banking of these blocks and loading using the requiring dunnage in the 12D nails or 20D nails. Each of the block requires 12, 5 12D nails and 15 20D nails. You require the four blocks for one of each of the block. You will need to have 20 12D nails, four wheels for 15, 5 12 12, 12 D nails for 20 to 12 D nails, 6 20 D nails, 60 20 D nails, but for four wheels by 12 15 20 D nails is equal to 60 20 D nails. Um, determining wire rope. Item E, the figure 66 six, list of the wire rope requirement. Note that the four each unit are called with regardless of the number of the wheels. Also note that the size of the wire of the rope depends on the weight of the vehicle it must hold. Let's say the three quarter ton truck weighs 5,275 5, pounds. Putting in the first class wire rope. The wire rope is usually supplied by the spool. You must measure the piece accordingly the type of the vehicle being secured. Computing thimble requirements. Last computation involving the computing thimbles from the stake pockets where the cable is um, fastened. Determine the 
requirements of symbols and clips in the description section of the technical manual refers to general rules 15D and 15N in the appendix these um, D. The rules state that the cable clip is required for, the, for each of the symbols to keep the symbol cable from um, slipping out. Computing thimble requirements. Notice if the if in practice three eighths of inch thimble does not leave the room against the stake pocket of the three eighths inch clamp. To deal with the situation, use the cable clamp, which is at least one of the two sides larger, to make the cable fast within a single strand of the cable and two place two cable clips at each end of the, each other. Section number one, general rules, appendix D, of the technical manual fifty five twenty two hundred zero zero one twelve shows the table from which you determine the number of the chain you know, clamps to secure the specific diameter of the cable. The rule fifteen N no A states when the number of the clips that are the cl and or clamps shown in the table is used. The clips or clamps are probably applied. They will develop, develop an 85% of the minimum breaking strength of the wire rope in the cable. Cable configuration, depending on the weight of the vehicle, three-quarter inch time requires only one single strand of tie-down. Therefore, the each of the cable, you will need to have four cable clips to each of the end of the cable. So you will need a total of 16 cable clips, four cables, four cable clips for each of the cable, 16 total cable, cable clips. The blocking bracing material summary. Now, some of the blocking bracing um, blocking bracing list of the three-quarter inch sun. These are your requirement block bla block bra block bracing material requirements. Pattern: 16 blocks, eight quantity, 40 D nails, and 40 protect um, protective material pieces. Four pattern: 89 blocks, four 12 D nails, 20 and 20 D nails, 20 D nails, 60. Continued. Three eighths of an inch wire rope, the four piece cut with the required length, three eighths of an inch cable clips, sixteen, one and a half an inch cable clips, four, and three eighths of an inch thimbles, four. The total um, blo blocking and bracing requirements know that, that you have computed the blo block blocking and bracing requirements for the one three quarter inch ton, um, ton, three quarter ton utility truck. You must comply with the total blocking and bracing material requirements for this truck or for the figure six five. And notice that you have um, unit five of these trucks. Since all the trucks require the bloating and block blocking and bracing material, you must multiply the materials that you have competed with by five. These blocking and bracing materials require the units of the five three quarter inch ton utility truck. Tons, you have pattern 16 block 40, 40 D nails 200, bar, protective block material 20, pattern, pattern 89 blocks 20, 12 D nails 100, 20 D nails 300, 3 eighths of an inch wire rope, 20 pieces cut to the required length, 3 eighths of an inch cable clips 80, 1 half an inch cable clips 20, 3 eighths of an inch thimbles 20. Computing other requirements of computing the basic of blocking basic material requirements for the other vehicles. Remember the look of the overlapping type of the retracting vehicle. The technical manual 5522000112 for different vehicles are often combined with the technical manual according to similarities of blocking requirements. The blocking blocking building materials for the two and a half inch cargo tons are listed on the same page with three quarter ton utility trucks. The difference is depending on the number of the wheels, blocking amount, weighing, and um, requiring some restraint with the wire wire rope. Um, computing other requirements of bond, completion of the blocking, blocking, bracing material, the unit equipment to hold the requirements of the totals used with the orders of the blocking, bracing, um, are not on hand, but the railhead forwarded to the block, blocking, bracing requirements of the ITO, the post engineer will supply with the blocking, bracing materials requirements of the conducting your units lo load, load out. All right. Summary: The lessons described in the blocking material materials required to protect your units equipment during the railway equipment. These three forces impact load during the transit and longitudinal transversal force, vertical force. Section 12 provides us blocking material, blocking, blocking, and bracing material requirements for the transportation military equipment. The rail help three must remember that to multiply these requirements for the number of the vehicles being transported in your unit. All right, then it goes through the the questions and the answers. And we're now we're on chapter 7 preparing unit road unit railroad preparing our unit rail load plan.